College football bowl picks for December 20th through the 22nd. It's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi. South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books down there. Head over to tunicatravel.com to get more information on all six of their sports books. We love them all. I'm not going to tell you our favorite one. Just go down there. You pick your own favorite. We're going to give you a whole lot of information on how to be a winner down there. Uh, I've got four games this week. I got three. You got three. You can find more picks and previews and whatnot over at winningcureseverything.com. Uh, we have a bowl preview for every single bowl. We've got picks against the spread, all sorts of stuff, uh, but we're going to wrap them up in like our favorite picks in one we, nice We picked thing. every game, but that doesn't mean we're gambling on all of them. We just made picks. Yeah, we made and picks on everyone. some of them, you can tell the level of preparation that I had as I just didn't know anything about the teams and said I like this. Whatever, and I'm going that way. <laughs> These are gambling picks. These are ones that you did a little research on. These are ones I'm actually putting some money on. There you go. All right, so I've got four picks this week. I got uh, three. You got three. You had five last week, and I had four. So this go round, I'm going first and last. Sweet. All right, so uh, so my first game, Friday, December 21st. I'm not touching the game on the 20th, the Gasparilla Bowl. I don't know what to think of Marshall in, in South Florida. Uh, I think Blake Barnett might be back. Maybe. Who knows? And South Florida's playing at home, but they have lost five straight by double digits. And Marshall's got a really good defense. So if I had to lean, I'd probably go Marshall. And that's what I did on the on the preview thing, but not one of my picks. I'm going to the Bahamas Bowl. Okay. I'm going to Florida International and Toledo. The total was at 68. And in two days, three days? No, no, no. In like a week. It dropped from 68 to 59 and a half. So I did a little research. Nobody's injured. Nobody's sitting out. Nothing crazy like that. It is supposed to rain in the Bahamas on the day of the bowl game, which how much would that suck if you go to a bowl game in the Bahamas and it rains on you? As long as it don't rain like the whole week because you're surely not flying there watching the game and flying back. No. That's, um, that's preposterous. But, but here's the deal. So I, I did a little more research, and, you know, the weather stuff is, like, very accurate, like, down to the hour nowadays. Like, they give you all kind of predictions and whatnot. It's supposed to be done raining before the game starts. I got the over, at, or the total at 59 and a half. I'm going over on this game. Both of these teams can score well into the 30s. Neither of them is very good at defense, but both of them can score in bunches. My pick is over 59 and a half in Florida International in Toledo. That's Friday, December 21st. It's at 11.30 a.m. on Friday. Another ESPN Bowl. What's your first game? Memphis, Tennessee. Well, the Memphis Tigers. <laughs> Sorry. Going to Birmingham against Wake Forest. It's minus three and a half. I think Memphis is going to beat the hell out of them. I, I think this Memphis Tigers team is Really exciting to watch. They're really good. I think Wake Forest won't stop them a single possession. You know, it's funny you say that. Because my game number two is actually Wake Forest to Memphis. But I am not touching the spread on that one. Because I, I felt good about Wake Forest plus five. I think that this new quarterback that they've got is actually really good. They can put up a ton of points. Three and a half was... A little iffy for me. I like Wake Forest plus five. I don't know how much I like them at plus three and a half. Uh, but the over under is at 73. I think both of these teams are going to score a lot, like every possession. Right. So I'm going over the 73 on this one. That's Saturday, December 22nd. That's an 11 a.m. game. Another ESPN bowl game. They own like 90% of these That's games. Right. All right, crazy. my next pick, we're going to roll through these. BYU minus 12 and a half against Western Michigan. Um, I've, I've seen a couple of like metrics that say this game should be a lot closer and like the best bet is Western Michigan. Look, BYU is just a completely different level of team. Not that they're a great team, but Western Michigan is one of those teams that barely got into a game and they matched them up against an independent. Yeah. And and that's that's the reason BYU is playing a team the level of Western Michigan. So I think this BYU is, the, uh, is going to handle them. This is the Potato Bowl. Yes. Um, and this is the Friday 3 p.m. game or 3.30, whatever time it is. Um, but, yeah, that's, a, that's another Friday game. 
Uh, game number three for me, I've got Troy plus two against Buffalo. Saturday, December 22nd, 6 p.m. is the Dollar General Bowl in Mobile. Buffalo got to come from all the way up north, all the way down to Mobile, Alabama. Troy got to go down the street. And Troy's defense is something else. Neil Brown, I think, I think he might have this team amped up trying to go out and prove himself because he missed out on a bunch of jobs again this year. Hey, two years in a row, I thought he was gone. And, and not it, even and getting still, some of these interviews, man. Yeah, it's just, just crazy. Uh, but Troy plus two, I, I think I kind of like them to win the game outright, but I will take the two points uh, in that spot. My last pick is Troy plus two. I think they're going to win outright. I think they're going to dominate and control the game at almost every level. I, I just think they're going to be more prepared, more ready, and and they're just a better team. I could see that. I can see that. My last pick, the Hawaii Bowl. Hawaii and Louisiana Tech, Saturday, December 22nd. is 9.30 p.m. this Saturday night. Late game. So if you're losing on all your other bowl games, you can come back in, get some of your money back. Remember, it's always the better play not to chase money unless you feel real good about it. But I feel pretty good about Hawaii here. I understand they are not as physical as Louisiana Tech. I got that. But Hawaii has had time to rest up a little bit because in the middle of the year when they had played like 13 straight weeks or whatever it was, 11 straight weeks, I mean, they were just getting dogged. Yep. However, Cole McDonald can still, he can still fling that football, especially at home. This team is different at home. They get more calls at home. At, look, they are going to be able to put up points here. It's a pick em. I mean, I, I'm down with that. Hawaii was favored, and now it's a pick em. People putting money on Louisiana Tech. That makes me like it even more. I'm going Hawaii with the pick I think Hawaii wins this ballgame. There you go. All right, so recap here. I got Troy plus two, Hawaii pick them. I got uh, the over in Wake Forest, Memphis, over 73, and I got over 59 and a half in Toledo, Florida International. What you got? I got Memphis minus three and a half. I got BYU minus 12 and a half, and I got Troy plus two and a half. Uh, plus two, sorry. So we, we gave Another. you the information you needed to go be a winner. Go down to Tunica. Get your bets in for uh, for your Friday games. Neither one of us bet the Thursday game. That's fine. That's fine. So you got your Friday night game or Friday day games. You got your Saturday games. Go down to Tunica. You can find more information on which sports book you want to go to at tunicatravel.com. Go down and get some action on these ball games. Find more information about us over at winningcureseverything.com. You can follow us on our social media accounts, Facebook and Twitter. Subscribe on the podcast. Hit that subscribe button if you're on YouTube. Leave some comments. Tell us what games we got wrong or what you think we got wrong. Uh, tell us what you think's going to happen. We're down with that. Have a uh, Merry Christmas, guys. Have a Merry Christmas. We will see you guys after the break.